We'll add the new details about a convicted rapist back behind bars. Tonight we are getting a clear picture about what happened before and after a 63 year old woman was raped and kidnapped. Charlotte Mecklenburg police saying the assault happened here at the Mayfield Memorial Apartments. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre is in North Charlotte and spoke to residents who say the attack has left them on edge. This apartment complex is a home for seniors and some of the residents tell me they are shocked to learn that a woman was allegedly sexually assaulted here, but they were even more concerned when they found out the man facing charges in this case was convicted of rape in the same area just over 10 years ago. Yes, it's safe. I mean, this is an isolated incident. I, I wasn't aware of it, um, the incident that took place 10 years ago. A senior community of an apartment complex on Daybreak Drive on alert. This after a 63 year old woman is sexually and physically assaulted Thursday morning around 9 a.m. CMPD say she was then forced to drive her attacker to another location. Eugene heard the news from his neighbors. She was raped and beaten. Uh, the guy broke in and he'd been, been charged with rape before and just let out of prison. So it's a shame that our system is like it is. Robert Lamar McFadden was convicted of raping a woman back in 2010 on the same street. CMPD say he was released from jail on May 25th, but online records from the state show he was let go on April 25th. But that was not McFadden's first time back on those grounds since his release. During the course of this investigation, patrol officers and detectives linked McFadden to an earlier burglary that occurred just after 4 a.m. the same day in the same street at a different building. Officers responded to the call, searched the area, but came up short. And they just pull off and leave. The guy's still probably in the same neighborhood, in the neighborhood. There's plenty of places for them to hide down here. Now the complex does not have a closed, gated entry, but there are cameras that face the entrance. But some say it's not enough. I think, you know, for us, the women, you know, especially the people who are on the back side, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot that maybe they should have some security right around through here periodically. McFadden is facing several charges, including kidnapping, burglary, and two counts of forcible rape. In North Charlotte, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.